I'm Mick and this is Sally. In our videos we hope to showcase what Australia has to offer. You can follow us on our adventures via the following social media platforms. If you like the video please subscribe to our YouTube channel. G'day everyone. In this video I'm going to explain to you what was involved for us to convert our caravan from AGM batteries to lithium. Let me say now that this video is not a deterrent to go to lithium. Uh, lithium is by far a better battery and got more opportunity to have a better better usage to the caravan of the modern AGM has but it's certainly not there to deter people from doing it. What I want to explain though is how we thought we were going to get lithium batteries changed over into our caravan for somewhere around $1,500 or maybe a little bit more and in fact it cost a lot more than that before we got it to work properly and I'll explain why. We were informed by Caravan Yard who had a workshop where they do repair work as well when I spotted lithium batteries in their showroom that the new lithium battery that they had and they were Solar King batteries would run with a battery management system in the fitted to the battery that would allow them to run on the existing AGM battery charger and come solar regulator setup that was fitted to a normal caravan for example. So I went home and I did a bit of re research on the internet on the Solar Kings website and it said exactly that that the electronic management system in the top of the battery would allow it to run with the existing AGM charging system. So after a bit of thinking and, and discussion we decided that we'd go ahead with it. So I went down and I bought these two batteries, two 100 amp batteries, and went to fit them to the caravan. For whatever reason, and I think it may have been the um, inverter that we had fitted to the caravan at the time, there was a slight spark there when I hooked up the lithium batteries. For whatever reason, um, the spark wasn't there or didn't appear to be there when I hooked up the AGMs, when I put the AGMs back in. So. I put the AGM batteries back in and rang the, the dealer that I bought the batteries from and explained the situation that I had with the sparking and asked whether they would fit them for me and they fitted them without any issue. So we took the caravan down, they fitted the lithium batteries, said there was no spark there that they detected and the reason was unknown. The only reason I say it may have been the sine wave is when we eventually had the lithiums fitted and uh, the new new battery management system fitted to the caravan um, the inverter was warm to touch so it must have been drawing some current so anyway after that we took the caravan home after the dealer had fitted the batteries for us and said everything was okay and the batteries went flat they weren't being charged at all so I contacted the dealer again and, and explained that the batteries went flat and we needed to bring it back so we could have it looked at and uh, like all workshops here in Adelaide they're flat out as and uh, they got a long waiting list to get in but he said he would try and get hold of the man that does that sort of work for them he was a mobile bloke that came in and uh, get in touch with me as to when I could take it back well that's probably a, a month from that period and I still hadn't heard anything. So I started to ring around and some mobile blokes uh, myself and discussed them and one that I spoke with was Matt from Extreme Auto Caravan and Camping and uh, Matt was very switched on with all this, he does this every day and straight away he told me that the electronic management system that's in the batteries themselves needed the perfect situation I guess for the the management system to work as they claim it will but if it goes outside those parameters then it's just not going to charge the batteries and that's exactly what happened with us. So Matt he's very busy he was unable to look at me for probably three months I think it was at a guess 
Um, so after a bit of further discussion with Matt, he put me onto a fella that mainly works down south, and that was Kim. And uh, Kim is Mobile Electrical Diagnostic uh, Solutions, and uh, he basically told me exactly the same as what Matt said. He's, you know, if if everything was ideal, it may be able to maintain the batteries at some sort of charge, possibly never fully charged. Um, but if things didn't go as good as what the, the management system wanted, then the batteries would go flat. So Kim's workload uh, was such that he was able to uh, get me some quotes and come up with a figure of what it was going to be. And uh, as both Kim and Matt um, told me, I needed a complete new battery management system fitted to the caravan. Uh, in the way of a solar charger and uh, battery charger etc. So with that in mind we uh, got Kim to do the pricing of it, book us in and eventually Kim came up and did the job for us. So we fitted a, uh, a Red Arc Manager 30S 3R battery management system which was the whole shoot and dice. Um, it was a battery charger, um, solar regulator charger and a DC-DC charger from the vehicle all built into the one unit. Uh, it has its own uh, control pad um, that is Bluetoothed to the phone so anything that you want to know you can do via the phone or you can do it manually on the control pad itself. That's the Red Arc battery uh, management control panel which is external that was able to be mounted anywhere and when you Bluetooth that to your phone you basically get 99% of what uh, is available to be read there. Multiple screens, it's got a diagnostic channel uh, screen on it and very informative. Now as well as that we fitted a new um, Enerdrive 2000 watt sine wave inverter um, and Kim fitted that for us while he was here so that was very good. So we finished up with a new inverter as well so the problem may be with the sparking from the old one um, was now eliminated if that's what it was we don't know. Um, but anyway with everything hooked up and charging as it should be and now with a DC DC charge capabilities coming from the vehicle everything worked as it should and the char charge and the batteries everything maintained uh, as per what we would expect. So all up as I said at the beginning we were going to look at $1,500 to maybe $2,000 to change over to lithium but in fact it cost us in excess of $6,000 by the time everything was purchased and fitted. Mind you that did include the new Enerdrive pure sine wave inverter which was just over a thousand dollars on its own so just be aware um, modern technology is moving very fast and I thought what they claim would be the case with these new electronic management systems in the lithium batteries that maybe it could cope with what they said it could do but obviously in our case it didn't so it took a purchase that we were willing to, to go for it actually blew out to over three times what we thought we were going to be up. So lithiums are great, but just be aware if you've got an old uh, management system charging and whatever inside your caravan, you may have to go the whole hog and have it replaced as we did. Both Kim and Matt have their own Facebook pages, and if you want to have any work done by them, you'll be able to see their contact details there. I'd recommend both of them to you, although I've had no work done by Matt himself, but he certainly spoke well on the phone. I'm sure when you read his Facebook page, you'll feel confident that you'll be able to accept what work he does do. So yes, both uh, Kim and Matt Facebook pages. I'll leave the links down below in the description on this video, as will the links for the equipment that was fitted to our upgrade. Uh, the links will be down there for that as well so I hope that you've got some benefit from watching this so as I said at the start please don't be discouraged with lithium it's it's the video is not there to discourage you it's just there to uh, perhaps enlighten you as to what you may need something that we didn't really know 
so thank you very much if you like the video that you just watched give us a thumbs up and if you want to see more of our videos hit the subscribe button and once you've done that tap on the bell and change the notification to all that way every time we do uploads to our youtube channel you'll be notified